This two-minute video will show how to use activity-based costing to reduce labor costs by up to 40 percent. We've often been asked what benefits activity-based costing provides compared to other costing methods. My answer to that question is a question. Would you like to have a cost accounting system that is designed from the ground up to help save up to 40 percent of your clinical labor costs? Henry Ford used a cost accounting system in the early 20th century to reduce manufacturing labor costs by 66 percent. What's not widely known is that his cost accounting system was not designed to determine costs. It was designed to monitor labor waste. Let's look at a hundred year old newsreel that highlighted Mr. Ford's focus on waste. Minute by minute, production was winning the battle against wasted time and wasted effort. Today, some hospitalists have estimated that over 40% of all labor costs in the typical hospital today is waste. This would equate to $2 million a month in a typical 250-bed hospital. Here's a list of over 20 types of labor waste common in all hospitals, included our time between work tasks, needless staff motions, search for equipment, stockouts, and more. To monitor the amount of labor waste generated by hospital operations, the activity-based costing system compares direct salaries consumed by the activities to total paid salaries. The difference between the two is direct salary overhead, much of which is waste. The basic waste monitoring report is a graph of the last 12 months. Follow the overhead line. If the overhead line is trending down, the department manager has found a way to reduce labor waste. And if labor waste is reduced, patient costs are reduced as well. 